All right, everybody, airport three out of four today. And at that, I want to, first off, talk about traveling with my beautiful Crave Crate. So my beautiful Crave Crate here, it wasn't until I got into Canada that I started getting weird looks about it. I think everybody thinks I'm packing burgers. But I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN not only keeps me safe on the road, literally, I'm using it right now to protect my personal data. Literally using it right up there. Helping me stay safe in all these public Wi-Fi networks is because not only are we keeping safe using our personal protection to protect us from those strange things, but we got to protect ourselves online from all those weird, strange people. So not only limited devices, so I have it on my computer, I have it on my phone, but I can use it internationally, which is great. I was able to access all my Canadian stuff I need to in the States, and then when I'm in Canada like I am right now, I can access all my American content. But of course, you know I got your back, so right now, use that link on screen, that code Joel H also found down below to not only get 85% off, three months free, but always a 30-day money-back guarantee. Yes, absolutely. So you can try it risk-free, hassle-free, you might as well. Of course, using that VPN will help you anonymize your data, protect yourself in this day and age. That virtual private network is more important than ever, especially with all the crazy industry hacks that have been going on and people always seeking your location. So with that everybody, until next time, I'm signing out from the Toronto Pearson Airport. Let's get to some food and I'll let you get the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're at a place called El Cantarito in basically Anaheim, California to do their taco challenge. So here, I'll show you, it's kind of sunny, but El Cantarito restaurant. So I guess El Cantarito means the singer, which is pretty cool. So here we are at the, the singer to do their taco challenge. So the taco challenge is to eat 20 of their tacos in 20 minutes and if you do it you get it for free and if you don't it is $20 on Tuesdays all their tacos are $1 so yeah it makes sense um, the tacos are double wrapped like there's two tortillas on them um, they have a number of different varieties such as uh, El Pastor uh, chicken there's five different kinds I got four of each um, here with my good friend Miss Reina and my good friend Mr. Blaine so with that let's head on and see what we can do I don't know if there is a necessarily record but 20 tacos, 20 minutes, if not 20 bucks. So let's have some fun, looks really good. Hi everybody, so here we are with the challenges. It looks super delicious. As I mentioned, here with Miss Reina. Yes. So yeah, we got 20 tacos. We got 20 of each kind. Reina went with chili verde and chicken, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, 20 minutes, looks really good. The record, uh, I guess, is about six minutes, 12 seconds. Not sure we're gonna try for that today, but these just look really good. So they are double wrapped, it's in two tortillas per. But yeah, I'm excited. Rain has done this before. And I think she's ready to do it again. What do you say? Yes. Excellent. So here we're gonna get started just momentarily. Rain, I wanna give us a countdown. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Let's eat. I think this one's trivia. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are taking on a taco challenge. So as we said, 20 tacos, 20 minutes, basically it's as simple as that. So here with Miss Reina, um, so Reina and my friend Blaine, Blaine was also here. They both had previously done this challenge at least once, actually I think Reina already did this one twice. And so they kind of said like there were certain flavors that were easier than others. There was a chili verde, which is kind of like a ground beef with chili verde on it. There was a chorizo, there was a pork, there was another um, like El Pastor, like another pork, so there's a couple pork ones. Then there was a pollo or a chicken one, and I think maybe a beef one, or no, the, you couldn't get the beef one for the challenge because the price of beef went up. That's what it was. But normally there was also a carne asada, uh, which you could choose from. This one's chicken. <laughs> So despite being told that some of the flavors were a lot easier to eat than some of the others, 
I decided to go ahead and try four of each of the five available kinds. So that's exactly what I did. Right now I went with the uh, Chili Verde, um, which I will admit, not only are they really soft and moist and easy to eat, but they also did taste very good. They were one of the two favorite flavors that I had on my plate. Um, but overall tastes were really good. Everything tasted quite fresh. Um, it's kind of like, you know, the traditional kind of Mexican style street taco. Now, if you are like me and grew up in Canada or somewhere else, you may not be familiar with that. But basically what a street taco means is it's a small taco, generally in a corn tortilla. Um, and kind of the idea of street tacos, again, they're just small and they're usually very basic. It'll be like maybe a little bit of tomato or actually probably not even tomato, just like cilantro and meat and basically tortilla. This one's pork. I was taking my time to enjoy these tacos, so I was adding salsas and pretty much everything I could to them just to kind of, well, one, I guess it lubricated them a little bit, but just kind of enjoy it. I really like salsas. I like a little bit of spice within moderation, and I enjoy flavor. So very, very strong flavors is what I like. So at that, that's pretty much the rundown on the challenge. Uh, Miss Reyna was going hard there. You can tell Reyna goes hard whenever she kind of it's kind of funny. She just kind of puts her head down and gets going. Um, but with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video, everybody. I hope you enjoy. Let's see what happens. And uh, let's try to get another win out of these delicious 20 tacos. This one's really good, whatever it is. Very flavorful. Yeah, this one's really good, very flavorful, very juicy. About four and a half inches in, lots of time. Enjoy this last one. Delicious. My God, what the you at the same time? It's wrong with your <laughs> <laughs> So finishing about four minutes, forty-seven seconds, forty something like that. So it's really, or no, forty-two seconds. Where to? Forty-seven. Forty-seven. So it's really, really good. I love the taste of tacos. Again, I have a big variety of them. The last two I had were by far my favorite. Some had a bit of heat to it though. Maybe the salsa it got a bit of a something in my mouth. Right now, finished. I think literally basically the same time. How'd you find it? Dude, I love your tacos so much. Yeah, really, really good. So good. We so, both beat the time record, though. that's crazy. Yep, so we both got a new record, so it's really delicious. Can't wait for that. So, uh, yeah, with that, till next time, hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry. We're gonna do some more eating maybe after this, but. I'll try the chips. I tell you, yeah, I would chip, but. Oh man, whatever that one was, it was so flavorful. I really love that one flavor. Delicious. But all really good, very fresh, lots of cilantro. Salsa is very much made here. I have no complaints, so clean up and want some more food? Well, we'll go after, right? We actually have another challenge today. Maybe. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get some dessert too, so enjoy everybody.
like Vans, you know, the shoe company has the uh, national championship of surfing here, and then they'll have a skateboarding and BMX championship too, right. which I find really fun to watch. And uh, I get to shoot. on Mount Yamashiro, which is right by Hollywood. It is definitely quite a ways up here. Quite a way to see the city. Pretty interesting. You can kind of see some of the Hollywood Hills. There's Blaine. Oh, dude, there's a Hollywood sign right there. And there's the Hollywood sign. Just found it. Yeah, accidentally found the Hollywood sign. You know, it's a little crooked. Interesting. Well, there you go. Hollywood Hills. Hollywood. Pretty cool. And then there's this place. It's also pretty cool, but yeah. Hollywood. <laughs> 